What's up guys, this is Vijayat Ahmed Khan from Inchave and today I'm going to show you the best photo editing app of 2019 on your iPhone. So if you are looking for the photo editing app which is free, of course, then you are on the right video. So I'm going to show you this app, it's called Snapseed and it's by the Google and it's completely free. It has many features that no other app can offer you for free. And uh, just download that and let me show you how it works. I have opened this Snapseed app and as you can see that I have opened this image. So uh, in the looks menu here, uh, you can see there are lots of uh, effects that you can apply on your image. So for example, it's portrait, um, smooth, pop, accumulate, morning so as you can see that image is already looking so great and these are the default facts that you can apply also you can apply the last edit that you did in the past and you can easily apply it without uh, changing other settings so you don't have to do the same kind of stuff every time on every image so currently i'm using the current version so uh, to show you how things work and uh, here is as you can see that it's called tools and you can see there are a bunch of tools here that you can use to customize your image so i'm gonna select the tone image and in the tone image you can see um, if you uh, swipe to the left it will decrease the brightness of the image if you swipe to the right it will increase the brightness of the image and there are more options to that you can you can tap on this settings and you can see that there are more options here contrast saturation ambience highlight shadows and everything so i'm gonna uh, select the contrast here and i'm gonna increase it and then i'm gonna go to settings i'm gonna decrease the shadows a bit selecting the shadows and decreasing the shadows so you can see the image is now more prominent and then you can tap on this uh, tick icon so it will save your settings then you can go to tools again here are uh, more things to do details settings and you can see the structure and sharpening both of these things are exactly the same but structure uh, will uh, pop up the uh, structure of the image like that and uh, decrease it so it will soften your image so i'm going to increase it a bit and i'm going to save it then in the tools curves you can also have curves that you uh, get in the Photoshop and so it, it also has this thing so you can see how the curves will work on it it's so great you can uh, tap on the circle icon so you can also change the red green and blue curves if you want to and then save it and then tools and white you can increase or decrease white balance crop rotate uh, perspective you can change the perspective of the image like that gain tools expand the image you can also expand the image so if you have smaller image you can expand it it will its AI will uh, expand the image for you and uh, make the size bigger uh, you can also um, use this brush tool so in the brush tool you have four options here dodge and burn exposure temperature and saturation so I'm in the dodge and burn select that so as you can see that it's on plus 10 which is positive 10 um, so what it will do is it will uh, expose the area wherever you do like that so it's on the plus 10 and I, I'm gonna decrease it to the erase you can erase it whatever you want to so you don't have to worry about the changes that you made uh, you can always undo that if you do decrease it to the minus 10 you can darken the image just like that how awesome it is it sounds good it feels good and for the top of that it's free just tap on the tick and then tools healing healing is for those if you have uh, scars on your image on your face you can select that and do that but in my image i'm i'm not gonna do that then I'm going to HDR escape. You can change the image settings here. Settings, there are more settings here. You can tweak that. Tools, glamour glow. So there are more options here. Like these are 
unlimited options that you can do to your image Con tonal contrast drama you can add bit of drama here so whatever you like i wanna do that tools again then you can add the vintage effect if you like a vintage effect you can do that too and so i'm gonna select that tools again then grainy film so if you want to add grainy film look to it actually it looks really nice i'm gonna select that then tools again then here is the retrolux sorry retrolux and uh, these are also good uh, effects that you can use so i'm gonna select this one i'm gonna do the settings i'm gonna increase the contrast saturation contrast a bit on the lower side brightness on also on the lower side style strength increase the style strength stretches okay so now that looks uh, nice i'm gonna type on okay tools again then there are more options grunge so this will uh, you can pinch to uh, focus on the area and you can also pinch outside to uh, make it bigger so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna increase the brightness no no not the brightness and then tap on ok then tools again then there are more options here Neuer uh, what it looks so it also adds the black and white type of effects that I don't want tools again you can add portrait head pose lens blur so if you want to add lens blur to it if you want to so that's how it is the tools again and you can do the vintage effect so this time you can play with it around wherever you want to set it i think i have made the image a bit darkened so you can also add text to it so there are a bunch of text options here whatever type of text that you want to add you can add uh, double tap on it to change so I'm gonna change it to love you can squeeze it to make it smaller and rotate and then you can change the color of it if you want to but I just don't want to change the color then tools again you have the frames here you can change the add the frames to it so that looks nice to me tools again i'm gonna make it a bit brighter so that's it okay so that's how this uh, tool work and you can also export it share it save it and everything you can do uh, with that, this image um, now you can see this image looks so much better than before and uh, it's pretty much all the editing on this your iphone and for free you know that's the main thing so i hope you guys liked this video if you liked it click on like and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos